up. He bought it from the original family and that they... Well, his grandpa told all the kids that he bought it in a crate after the war, which is impossible because this is a 47. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. All right, here's the master plan. I'm gonna roll the chassis outside, put the body on top over the steering column because the forklift can't reach in here, up over the door. And once the body's on, we're gonna push it back in and then somehow weasel the drivetrain without smashing too much. Oh boy. A body that fits on a new frame. This is what you would call a win. Look at it. It's got MB fender, CJ2A tub, M38 hood, MB grill. 3A fender and a whole lot of horsepower. Alrighty boys and girls, this is the last update of the Jeep assembled in one piece without paint. What we got going here is a modified snorkel exhaust with a hater pipe on top. And it goes with the same angle as a roll bar all the way up. We also have New suspension, tires, shackles. The submarine frame is finally finished. In all of its glory. We have a front winch, boom. We have a rear winch, boom. Roll cage mounts, bumper reinforcement.
Well, here we have the sub is knee high by the 4th of July. Check that out. It's actually a little higher. So what do we got going here? We painted the frame primer and then a custom desert tan. This is the same desert tan. It's kind of like a uh, newer Toyota uh, pickup. Get the drivetrain prepped and then paint it and then install it. Today is a significant day. This is the day that the hater pipe flaps in the wind. And the town of Bloomington, Indiana will understand the thunderous eternal combustion of the mutt engine in the submarine jeep. Dude! Oh my god! Did you hear that? Dude. We're driving the submarine! 